Hello YouTube. I took delivery of this beautiful Lapierre Overvolt yesterday. Just thought I'd do a preview of it. Ignore the seat because it comes with a standard seat, not a dropper. So I thought I would put on my um, own dropper post because the seat position is in uh, the one set up for me. But it's a bit um, falling to bits, but when your bum is on it, nobody sees it. And it's uh, looking good. I'm very happy with it. It's like a, the photos on the website make it look like it's um, white, but it's like a champagne white, so that you can see closer up. Nice gloss finish as well. Just uh, pre-ride. I took it up to my dad's house yesterday just for a little test run. I've put my slime tubes in. Uh, 27.5 Smart Sam's, or Smart Sam, I should say, plus tyres. They are, just trying to see on the tyre what size they are, 2.60s. There's some weird stuff going on here. I don't know what this is. It like, pulls out. Hang on. I don't know what it does. It, it does say that you can change the, um, whatchamacallit of it, like the, the angle. It's a... Yamaha motor, uh, 80 newton meters is what they have told me in the shop. Don't like this bit here though, there's a bit of a, so you can get the phone in there, it's a bit of a gap. So any like British weather coming off this tire, he's gonna hit that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of those mud guards on here, so it protects it. And also I've got some um, silicon that I can put in there just to block off the hole. A charger port is here, which is really good. I like that. The battery will come out anyway. But there's the charger port tucked away, out the way. To be fair, I think if the water did go in there, it would run out the bottom because it's just like a little sump guard underneath. Let's just have a look. There you go. It just covers the motor to protect it. And there's this thing here. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo yet what that is. You've got the uh, bottle mounts. Um which is really good on these bikes. I'm not convinced with the forks. They are quite plush, they're Sun Tours. They are 34s, but there's a right clunky dunk when you go to Aussie Hop up, like the curb or bunny hop. So I might be changing those for my Rock Shocks. That's an inch eight steerer. So we'll be changed, might be changing those for that, but not quite decided. Yes, I've got Shimano disc brakes. These are really good as well. They're like, um, hold the cables all together. So it's, you know, nice tidy cockpit. Uh, forks, uh, the shock is brilliant because you can lock it off. You've got your rebound dial here. I always set it to minimum. Uh, I've got 180 PSI in that shock. I've also put my lovely um insulation tape just to protect as your feet on the bike go around and round uh nine speed no rear clutch mech but we'll see how we go today because i'm gonna be riding up uphill and down dale um yeah i do like the lock off i like the lock off on the um shock and also the um forks lock out as well so i could have a fully rigid bike Nice little, um, thank you Andy, Northern Mountain Biker. I'll put a link to his um, YouTube channel in this vlog. Uh, turn it on, press the power button, and we have, it automatically comes on as standard, which is, I think he's got four settings, so if I drop it down, it's all the way from off, and it gives you your range. So at the moment on Eco Plus, I can go 114 miles, which I will not be doing. You've got Eco, you have got Standard, and you've got High. Hi there, full house at the moment. I have noticed if you press and hold the plus, it goes on what's called auto mode, which I think is like EMTB mode. And it, as you're pedaling, it auto assists you. So if you come to a hill, it automatically go into turbo. Um, you can have got your walk assist, and you've also got a light, which I believe you can connect to the battery. So I'm gonna go out now, ride the um, 
Colina San Sierra, which is hills and mountains of Wolverhampton. Um, and I'll get back to you in uh, at the end of this. So happy days. See you in a moment. Just ridden up now, mate Mark, the old uh, obligatory beer gardens, like you do. Rocking the orange lid and orange high vista today because it's quite warm. It's warming out the wind, but when you're in the wind, it is quite chilly. Uh, got my new uh, <laughs> today as well, so it should be good. Um, I think I still need a bit more air in the shock. I can't put it in the front because it's um, just which we call it rebound, isn't it? So, uh, you can tell uh, the cheap fruits because they're in plastic dials and plastic dial of doom. Right, let's wait for Mark and when we get to Clint, I'll give you an update. Right, just back from 37 mile bike ride. Um, enjoyed it, it's good. Nice bike to ride. As you can see, overall distance, 37. Been all round Clent and Netherton Tunnel, etc. one of my previous rides. I have put a blob of silicon in there, so when it dries, I can um, just mould it. And then, uh, just get that bit of crap off there. And then, just if I don't like it, I can always uh, take it out. I tried to put one of the um, fenders on here, but because of the size of the tyres and the size of those neoprims, I think I'll just leave it. I'll only be riding it in the summer anyway, but I'm very impressed with it. I still think I'm going to be changing the forks out because they are super clunky when you go to Aussie up or Bunny up up curb. Pretty good though, I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I won't be doing it straight away. Um, I've just worked out how to take the battery out. So obviously I did point out you've got a charging point here. Um, I am going to get all the all that I've ridden through basically today is the spring dust, which is good. But I'm going to get the compressor on it in a bit and just clear it all out. But I've worked out that if you let's try and basically that pin comes out and then the whole battery comes out. So I'll just be back in a moment. So just remove the pin from there and the battery just slides out. And I should put it on there. What I've just noticed is, uh, you press that, it gives you your voltage like it does on my cube. Nice 500 watt hour battery. I've had a look through the instructions, but I can't seem to find anything. I know what this does. Very, <laughs> it's a bottle opener, nice little bottle opener. And also it's got a couple of, uh, I'm not sure if that's out of focus, it's got a couple of Allen keys. So you've got one Allen key for the saddle on there and then the next size up also fits so if any of these need pinching up you've always got that um that's the pin for the battery that's the torque tool to remove that from there but i've also got this thing which i've got a scooby do what that's all about it is magnetic where is it no that end's magnetic so i don't know why i don't know what that is i'm gonna clue there's like different Size threads on there. If anybody has any, any ideas, just leave a comment below. So I'm going to get that charged um, and I'll be back out on it next ride. But as far as I'm concerned, I'll try and just do a bit more a close up. If anybody's thinking of getting one of these, I would highly recommend it. Still don't know what this is for. It does come out. Um, might even go in there. I don't know. No, it doesn't. It just uh, I'll leave it in there where it uh, where it was, unless it's. T t oh, look at that! I've just put my bloody finger in the <laughs> in sods law, isn't it? Oh dear! Unless you set it for where your suspension swings over. Oh, I can't believe that! It looks like I've been fingering a seagull. Unbelievable, Jeff. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. I'll just try and get a bit more of a close up. They look like Fox Thirty Fours, but they're actually Sun Tours X. CM 34 boost. The other boost is probably the uh, that's a through axle as well. I think it's um 15 mil standard or 16. Oh, I see it mixed up. Like I said, you have got the lockout on the top here, you've got the preload, just uh, lovely little lap here again. 
spinny roundy, nice and free. That's where I've just put my finger. Thank you very much. Good night. Um, ah, this is where you, it looks like you might have like a flip chip technology. I'm not too sure. I believe it as it is anyway, standard. Just underneath. I'll try it. In fact, if I go the other side, because the sunlight is in the camera. There you go. There's all the, all the nice wires hidden underneath. Neatly compacted away. That's obviously where your battery plugs into. Nice little um, effect as well is um, like a little bit of neoprene so it stops the battery rattling around in the frame. But for £2,700, it's, it's a brilliant bike. Very rare you can get a full suspension or singing or dancing um, e bike for under three grand these days. That's hence why I bought it and have it on the Never Never, so I pay for it over six months. So you don't notice that big chunk of money going out your um, bank account. So thank you very much for watching this. I'll try and I'll leave a link in to Pure Electric. Uh, very good. They uh, get a free service after six weeks, so they'll just check everything's okay. So give me the thumbs up. Any comments, leave below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much, and catch you on the next one. Let's do it. Just get the layer of dust off.